Welcome, welcome everybody to the next rendition of the Drunken Monks, Ravnica. Will my players please introduce themselves? I am Kyoko the Fox playing Amayori. I am Kawaii RMS playing Yerton. I am Dono the Cleric playing Raylos. I am Noah, aka Goon Daddy, playing Yurith, aka Starchild. And I'm Shock Goblin playing Twig Rumble Bumble. Thank you, and I am the Drunken Monk playing the DM. And uh, may I just say, uh, Twig Rumble Bumble, your voice is on point tonight. Thank you, sir. Woo, who would like to do our recap from two weeks ago? Not it. Not it. Not nope. it. Donna, it's you. Halos <laughs> did everything. Everybody else did nothing. <laughs> well, you just went Dr. Robotnik on my end. Really? I'm trying to... He doesn't look like Jim Carrey. <laughs> <laughs> ha ha ha. I'm trying to copy and show the link, but... Uh, the only reason I'm going to play oh, that or go and see that movie. I'm trying to do it in the D&D fam community and the cloak dm because they like to watch us oh. and stuff so i know you're in them uh quiet so yeah i'll do it while there. you recap okay so um last time on ravnica the party through forms of community uh what is it what's the word that i'm trying to say um persuasion persuaded the ever-moving bar of Ravnica to go out and save them a day of travel to the land in which they needed to go. And I believe we were heading west, right? Um, yeah, I think so. To... Yeah. yeah. yeah and not east. <laughs> not east. Go west. <laughs> um, west. West. Yep. We left. I thought you said feast. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, there, I'm gonna grab my notebook. I grabbed the wrong notebook. Good. Uh, How dare you? At this point, we began to communicate parts of our past and um, getting to know one another within the group. We also had Starchild, a um, Aarakrokra, join us into our party at the bar as well. I'm kind of bouncing around in this recap. But ultimately, <laughs> we to the outer walls of where we needed to go there, finding a church, staying within it, and Raylos taking his time to look around. And the one that knows of churches was able to find what seems to be a secret door. And that is where we left off. Ooh, secret door. Door. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, uh, shop. Do we have access to the music on this one? Uh, I don't have any commands here, so no. Oh damn! I gotta figure out how to get one command. Or we can just do what I suggested and put everything in one server. Uh, we we'll can't do that out. right now. <laughs> Not right now, but eventually. If, if you want to be in charge of that, do it. <laughs> I'm I'm okay with that. We'll just have to acapella the music for now. Okay, so <laughs> a lot of stuff happened okay. last week, uh, two weeks ago. Uh, we had some interesting. Oh, I just recapped it. Yes, I know. We had some interesting things happen. In the <laughs> um, I and last you found yourself was in the underground chamber. What are you doing? We, we went into the underground chamber? I thought we just found the door. I thought we just went into the church. You, you oh, we went, went to the church. Yes, and you found the secret Twig room. Twig would be upstairs. Yeah. Twig went upstairs into the bell tower. Yeah, I got a ride oh, from Star Child. Yeah, yeah, Yurith is chilling in the, the, the bell tower. I think I was in with Amayori and Erton inside the actual church, and we were... Uh, yep searching around and I found the secret door and then we were just like, oh, snap. Um, I hadn't even opened it yet. I just found it. It had the same symbols uh, as all the guilds, but they were crossed out. Like we The same it. ones that are on the masks uh, yeah. Yurton and Twig are wearing. Yep. Mask buddies. Well, 
No, 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 mask buddies. That was okay. That was supposed to be. I, I believe we said you would open it because the symbols were in the altar underneath the main church. No, wait, he was about to open it. Okay, then I got ahead of myself. Go ahead, open it. Well, apparently there's a chamber underneath of this, you guys. <laughs> okay, um, Capadres, I have found. We got dead air. Dono, you no noise make. And this is what happens when he tries to use a microphone. I know. Every time Donna tries to use new technology, period. It's like he's a wizard from the Dresden Files. Yes. You know, I thought this was going to get better when he got Wi-Fi. I mean, he's not dropping the call all the time. Somebody send him a message and tell him that we can't hear him or add him. Dono, you deaf boy. I sent him a message. Okay, who would like to continue? Um, Hi. <laughs> Twig was going to be coming down the stairs to meet all of them. Yerkton's just chilling. Okay, so you're coming down the stairs to meet them. You see the altar, you see a Raylo standing on one side, Yurton stand Yurton. Amiori on the other side, um, examining this uh this secret door that's just basically this giant round slab in the base of the floor. Well, this is new. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Do you think you um, it? Twig is going to approach and he'd like to examine it for any traps on the locking mechanism. <laughs> You're, You're so paranoid. The, uh, I'm catacomb. playing a rogue. <laughs> it's my job. That's what a smart go ahead. Rogue I didn't even work in. Hey, there we go. Yay! I can hear you guys talk shit the entire time, so fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> We that was the point. Got, uh, what is it? Man's got all messed up. I uh, apparently wah, it stopped wah, inputting wah. my sound for a second. Uh, so sorry about that. Drunk. So it'd be <clears throat> investigation, right? Yes. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty-one. Woo! You are confident that there are no traps there. All right. You uh, load. You rolled too low. <laughs> God, if it's a trap that requires more than a twenty-one to find, I'm. Hmm, I don't want it. <laughs> We're dead. This is where you drunk is just like I'm done it. with this campaign. Fuck these Double guys. You guys. They make fun of me too much. <laughs> <laughs> we make fun of you more than we make fun of drunk. Oh, yeah. I know. Even on DM junkies. Well, that's because you guys need it. Because I'll kill you. You we guys do need that, it. We I stress you guys out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we do. <laughs> okay, so what is my party doing? Um, Standing above a doorway, just kind of looking at it. The the lock on the doorway, does it appear... Uh, it, what kind of lock is it? Is it like a padlock? Is it an inset lock? Is there no actual lock and I'm just being crazy? There is no actual lock. Twig is going to stand behind the trap door so that it is opening uh, so that he is not in front of the opening and then he's going to open it really fast. I'm going to make need you to make a strength check because like I said, this is a giant stone slab. Well, no, also I don't know if he's long enough to reach across this thing. <laughs> he's only like two and a half feet tall. Oh, no, definitely not. Uh, <laughs> wait, yeah, so wait. Twig is going to essentially <laughs> lay across this and try and reach the handle. Do I see Twig doing this? Yes, you do. Uh, tiny one, do you want me to help pick you up and we'll just yeet? <laughs> no one yeets me. Twig, you have a mask on, correct? Yes. 
okay. Uh, and you're, you're standing relatively close to the door. Are you standing within touching distance of the door? He's he's probably up against it at this point, trying to reach across it. Okay. As you lean down to reach across it, your short little body, not quite wide enough, you feel heat coming from the mask on your face. And as you do so, you see symbols that were not there before start to glow into the stone slab, and it rises up and inches out of the way. Twig's just gonna, like, stare down, because he's essentially on top of this thing as it's moving, and just be like, I don't know what I did. But I did it. I so insight. you to say thank you. Can Dude. I insight this damn thing to figure out what the fuck's going on? Sure. Yeah, can the rest of us see the symbols, or is it just the you person me, with the mask? I will say, your, your, Arcana or Insight? I'll roll an Arcana. Your tent, uh, since you were actively engaged with Twig, I would say that you would have noticed the symbols on his mask glowing. Alrighty. I would most likely just keep that to myself. Okay, so, uh, but I do want to actually ask if I can make an investigation check to see, or at least try to make a guess of how deep it is underneath, because you said you like the thing moved, right? Yes, the stab lifted up. Critical hit! Yeah. I, got, I got a crit. Natural, Natural 20! 20. 20. That's an arcana check there, drunk. Okay, so you know that the lock was magical and the key was the mask. Um, Looking hey, down the hole... Yeah, can hear you. Cut out there for a sec there, drunk, sorry. Lock was magical, and you know that the mask was the key. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, drunk, looking down the hole, is it a lighted hole? Is it a comfy, dry hole? It is pitch black underneath. I cast so light dwarf on hole, not a hobbit hole. Got it. I'm a Yori's just gonna that. jump in. I'm assuming everyone's just standing in silence around this hole. Casting light on Harumba Bumba's um, mask. Okay. So I, I touched the mask. Why? Why would you do that? Amiori, it's completely okay? dark. Wait, Amiori, I'm the stealthy you? guy. <laughs> oh, fuck you. That was the plan. What? I was just gonna jump in. You're I was gonna like we would jump in with you. <laughs> you would just like to arrived. kick Raylos in. <laughs> Make an attack okay. roll. So, wait, what? I'm gonna resist. Okay, who has dark vision? Uh, your turn. I, dark vision. I do. I mean, Hold on. Does. Let me take a look. I don't know if birds have dark vision. Uh, halflings do not have dark vision. Hey, okay, okay drunk too. question. Before Raylos actually casts light, can we not see in it, period, for those that do have dark vision? Those of you who have dark vision, notice that it's just stone steps leading down about 30 feet, and it levels out underneath. Oh, well, then I'm not going to jump. I'm just oh. going to walk. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to eat myself into it. just going to go. Okay, then I retract my casting light and just enter in the bitch. <laughs> I mean, if we think about it, my dog is like a hellhound. He's probably giving oh, yeah, up and a glow she, anyway. And, uh, yeah, and they would cast a little bit of light. Damn, I have a question. <laughs> Uh, player, I have an answer. <laughs> it's the daily uh, double. I was wonder <laughs> That's great. But uh, I was wondering if I could stealth just ahead of the party just a little bit, kind of like scout. Uh, make a stealth roll. Okie dokie, artichokey. Twenty-one. Similar to the fashion that you saw the halfling do before, you kind of jump down the steps as far as you can go and just, like, in a puff of smoke disappear. Mario, jump it. Boy. Earth got bored from staying in the bell tower and is now watching everyone jump into a hole. <laughs> he kind of, right. you kind of cocks his head over the hole, just kind of looks around, doesn't have dark vision, so he kind of sees the hellhound. And he's like... Mm. I don't know if I want to go down. Okay, so since... uh just grabs him and brings him down. He's like, I'll guide you with my son. My son. 
go ahead and deafen yourselves, guys, for a second, except for Yurton. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <Is it> Yurith? <laughs> Fear. Wait, who? Monk. I'm waiting on the star child to deafen himself. My bad. Okay. And Twig. Oof. I'll get Much up. fear. Such fear. Wait, you, you're you able to... Oh, whoa, I did not know that Discord could do that. Okay. So as you get down to the bottom of the stairs, you hear this... <sighs> And then a giggle, and then it just seems to disappear around you. I'm going to pull, like, the horror, like, genre, like, cliche, and just ask it, like, is someone down here? It doesn't respond, but as you say that, the breathing seems to leave. And All right. Could you say that again? You went robotic. Uh, oh, I cut cut myself off. I was going to tell everyone to come back, but uh, they're all deafened. They're all deafened, so I could message them if you would like. I got it. Okie dokie. Oh, whatever the hell just happened. <laughs> so, Yurikin would just kind of like stop in her, in her tracks oh, no, I can't and hear wait for talking. some people to come close. Oh, there we go. Now I can hear people. Yeah. I got deafened too for a second. What just happened? Okay. Uh, basically, Yurikin's just going to wait a little bit until like she knows the party's getting closer and just basically say, There might be something down here. I heard something. Pretty sure there's just darkness down here. <laughs> well, let's kick its ass. We're down here. We don't always have to fight something, you know that's right, unless they deserve it. They always deserve it. Okay, so nobody deserves, you have nobody deserves death unless have... they fight for it. You have a path that goes oh, straight that makes ahead. No sense. <laughs> <laughs> that goes off to the right. If they fight me, they deserve death. <laughs> Say that again, Monk. You have a pathway that goes straight ahead and a pathway that goes off to the right. Mark, you keep cutting out on me. Same here. Straight ahead and to the right. You have a pathway each direction. I kind of want to split the party. <laughs> Wait, wait, it goes straight and then it turns right? No, no there's two there, choices. There's you can two either choices. turn straight or you can turn right. Okay. Um. Hey, Monk, I got a question. I'm... Uh, Could I try to remember or try to think of where, like, which part the sound was coming from? It was coming from all around you. Never mind. <laughs> Does anybody have an arrow? That's uh, what actually, I think Yurton does. See, wait, Rayless has a crossbow. Fuck this. He loads a crossbow bolt, casts light onto it, and fires it uh, through the straight path. Straight ahead, straight ahead of you, it turns again, uh, toward the left, yeah, turns toward the left. Turns towards the left. Okay, now he does that again to the path to the right. Fires. What does he see? He sees coughing. Yes, that's right. Um, uh, he sees a, uh, a large wooden door. There's a wall. Okay, so we'll to the right end. So let's go straight. No, it's well, not a wall, listen. it's a door. May I suggest something to it's you? It's a what? It's a door. The door. Oh. We want to go to a door? Well, how about this? Have just a few of us go up to the door, like, 
just up to the door, and a couple of us stay back. So then if something was to happen, we have a chance to run. Twig is going to stealth up towards the door, keeping an eye out for any traps. And Amiori will kind of go down the hallway that goes straight. So I just mean everyone just Twig, splits. You're, you're, running toward, you're headed toward the door looking for traps. Make a perception check for me. No, no, no. He's stealthing towards the door and looking for traps while he stealths. All right, make a stealth and a perception check for me, then. All right, there's first oh, stealth. Here's second, since I have advantage. That's an 18 on the stealth. And then... A 17 for perception. Okay, so I'll start off with, you are very, very sneaky, sir. Yeah. And you get about... Yeah. Uh, you get about 15 feet down the 30-foot hallway, and right as you're about to take a step, you notice a tripwire. Okay, uh, can I follow the tripwire along to find the mechanism it's attached to and potentially disable it? You may. All right. So I'll roll another perception to follow it to the wall, or...? Yes. Here we go. Quick question, are we 15. all down here? I think half of you went one way, half of you went the other way, with the bird dude still being up top. Just yeah, sitting in the middle between the two of them. That's Gareth is still doing. above the hole. Once oh, Twig dude. finds that, though, as he's following it along, he would kind of kind of try and quietly call back to everybody. Careful, there's a tripwire. Fucking, that's like old Cassie. Careful, <laughs> there. Twig go rumble. There it is. Careful, <laughs> there's a tripwire down here. There could be more. You'll disarm it. Doing that now, but just be careful. There could be more. Well, I'll just follow behind you, and you find them before I get there. Hearing that, Yurton's just gonna, He's gonna curse and close to a Amiori. <laughs> you curse in Dwarvish? Yeah, Twig would say something mean about Raylos in Dwarvish. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait a minute! I, I, I understand Dwarvish! <laughs> you say. Heathen. <laughs> <laughs> After seeing Urton not laugh at that, he'll be like, "What did what did the small one say?" <laughs> like he's honestly curious. He's like, "What?" <laughs> he's just mad when it comes to traps. You see, traps are very hard to arm, but also at the same time, when in doubt, he might lose a finger, he might lose an arm, or when in doubt, you might lose your head. <laughs> So, since I heard Twig say something about um, a tripwire, when I go down the street hall, I'd like to do a perception to keep an eye out for those. Okay, roll your perception check. Okay, um, you're disarming the trap, uh, Twig. Let's see a dex check. Damn, I, I don't see dex anything. Dex, or would it be sleight of hand? To disarm. Uh, see, I couldn't remember. I knew no. In three point five, we use Dex modifier to do it, so I just went with that. Okay, because sleight of hand is based on Dex, so I just don't know. That's yeah, I critical it. failed on well, my perception. We'll allow a sleight of hand. Sleight of hand coming up. So that's a plus six. Fifth, uh, twenty-one. Nice. You're kind of tinkering with this, you hear this click, 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 and then it just, the tripwire just falls free. Okay. <laughs> and I'll let you go to Amayori and that natural one. Uh, she's running out. Uh, she she had to get my dice for for her part, so... Um, we'll go ahead and finish that one. How so, <laughs> many <laughs> dice I got, do you yeah, need? I got a question. Answer. Alrighty. Can I... Okay, are we able to still kind of, like, see the outside part of the hole? So, there's a light coming down from the hole from the church you guys were in. Um, uh, there was a light uh, peering through the rubble of the broken roof. and So, there's light coming down in. Um, Yurton's gonna intimidate the bird bard to get his ass down here. I will... Gladly count roll whatever I need to. 
What are Constitu- you, a fucking turkey or something? No, I'm a falcon, thank you. Well, you're certainly acting like one. <clears throat> he's Not an owl. hunting small rabbits and mice? No, he's just scared. I'm not an owl. Dark places confuse and frighten me. Okay, well, you just gotta beat a 14 for that. Uh, constitution, or? Uh, I think it's charisma. Yeah, charisma? Be charisma since... Or wisdom. Yeah. It's either wisdom or charisma. No, no yeah, it'd be wisdom. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be wisdom charisma to, to intimidate, wisdom to overcome it. Yeah, because it's it's like how insight is the counter to deception. So wisdom is the chariz- is the counter to the charisma. Okay, I am low key wishing it was charisma. <laughs> You're a bard, of course uh, you are. Of course you are, freaking bard. <laughs> Kill the bard. And that's why I can't Kill the bard. Five. <laughs> ah! <laughs> and the chicken jumps in the hole. I am a falcon. Just, just Hi, he, he, he like tiptoes his talons down the stairs. Okay, so poop comes out his butt. Mommy Yori, <laughs> how far down the hall did you walk? Just to where it turns. Okay. Nine points of damage. So as you're walking, you feel this click, and all of a sudden, arrows come piercing out of either wall. You. You both just cut out. Yeah, because she asked me a question. I thought she had already made it, and she hadn't. Wife, you might go ahead and make a tech save for me. <laughs> I believe in you. Uh, this is going to be fucking delightful. Hey! Right. 19! Okay, she says. There we go, that's better. I, all that damage, Shut and I didn't have to apply it to anybody. Uh, well, now she has to come back. You hear this click, and you just see these arrows come flying, and you just take this rolling dive forward, slam into the wall, and take a deep breath like... What do you say? I found okay. some arrows. What about your dog? What about the puppy? Oh, yeah, oh. would would the puppy need to make a save? He will too. Oh no! Death to the puppy. I will cry if the puppy dies. The little hound can go to hell. <laughs> that was a bad joke. <laughs> this hellhound did kill a messenger hawk last week. True. He, he rolled a seven. Ah, oh, he's gonna take that nine points. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! If you know what that movie is, you know why that's a sad, sad gift. Mm-hmm. I don't. That get is it. horrible. I don't get mm-hmm. it. Allie, what that's a gift question? from Marley and Me. I've never seen Marley and Me. Oh, don't God. watch it. It's very don't. sad. It'll kill your soul. Count yourself lucky. I read the book. I have the book too. Don't read the book either. Have, What's I a book? <laughs> Goon, your childishness is showing. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing? We're taking the hobbits to Isengard. Isengard. <laughs> this is the most chaotic bullshit oh, game yeah. we've ever had. <laughs> We're so, sorry. like, just all over the place today. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We still have one viewer consistently, so let's try and keep it going. <laughs> but no, once Twig disables that trap, he would continue down the hallway, keeping an eye out for more until he can get to the door. Okay, you successfully get to the door, uh, seeing no more traps along the way. And the he would check to see if the door is uh, trapped in any way that he can see. Make a perception check. And just so, just gee whiz, uh, for you, that was a fireball trap that would have hit you. Oh. Oh. That would be bad. That's a 16. Twig would become a kindling fire at that point. Uh, oh, I don't want that. Allie, goddammit. 
<laughs> Why did you have to make a fire pun? Because I low key, you know, wizard main. Judging so hard right now. Okay. So, what did I miss as I was talking with Wifey Mug? Missed everything, drunk. Roll to 16. Okay, you are confident there are no traps on the door. Fireball. I will test to see if the door is locked. The door is unlocked. Then, uh, yeah, I'm going to open the door quietly. Make a make a stealth for me then. Gladly. Oh, oh no. So that's oh, a no. plus nine with oh. advantage. Oh no. Oh yeah, you're not Cassian tonight. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> fuck, it's not showing me my second roll. It says you're typing. Discord's lagging. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that thirteen. What the fuck? <laughs> Which one do I take? I only put the it in first, twice. The first two, maybe? DM, uh, which one should I take, or should I just, like, I, re-roll? I, I would like to say that it was a glitch, so I'll go ahead and let you re-roll. Okay. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I only put it in twice, and it fucking did that. No, it lagged out. It was, it was doing all sorts of weird things on my end. Whew. 28. And oh, I typed it in wrong. Dice found. Two roll. Oh, it's yeah. a twenty-eight. It's a twenty. Okay. <laughs> so the, the door person is- inside looks over. The door is closed. Looks back. Looks over again. The door is open. The door slowly creaks open. You hear this? You you kind of. I said here. You kind of smell this stale, rotting flesh as you open the door. I'm so glad he's stale. Stale, rotting flesh. flesh. He's going to turn around and out of the darkness, Raylos will hear Smells like your kind of place. Does it smell like my kind of place? (laughs) We take better. Honestly, we take better care of uh, our bodies than what it smells like here. Usually, we uh, keep them quite uh, put together. Uh, can Raylos look around and with a smell of just death and rot? Can he look around and see what the fuck's going on? Okay, you see a 30 foot by 30 foot room. What room? In the middle of the room. 30 foot by 30 foot room. In the middle of the room is a squared table. In the table, you see different, the, the same symbols that you've seen this entire time, the different guild marks with the mark through them. Sitting at the head of the table. You recognize Jeffrey. His flesh rotting. What? His flesh rotting off his body. He had clearly been here a long, uh, uh, quite a little bit. Is this? Who is this? Jeffrey. I don't. I I missed the whole. He's the he's Jeffrey, the guy that was at the guild hall. Twig's friend from oh. the Azorius Senate, Jeffrey. Yes. This dude's dead. Uh-oh. Why is this guy dead? Um, how can I check his body and see how long he's actually been here? Yes, he may. Do you want to make a medicine check? Yes, with advantage because of your occupation. Yeah, okay. I realize I'm wondering if I took like, when I did my multi-class in the cleric, did I choose my skills that I was proficient with as a cleric? Because I, I'm missing a few here. Um, but I'll bring that up with you drunk later. So. Uh, our D20 plus 3. 12. 
Oh, with advantage. With advantage? Sorry. Plus three. Send. 20. Dirty 20. Woo! Yeah. So, so you go up. Tell me what I see. You go up to his body, kind of touch him in a couple of places, pick up a bit of the the uniform he's wearing, give it a little bit of a sniff, and you can tell he's been dead since hours after you last met with him. So he's got he's smelling really bad after hours. No, hours after when you met with him. Several days ago. It's been several days. I keep having you cut out. He uh, smells basically like a lot worse than what he smelled like seven days before. Yep. So a few days a few days old, but he was alive when we last saw him. It wasn't like we were talking to a Okay. A fake. Because I thought we talked to him like literally two days ago. Uh if my time frame is right, it's been three days. Should yeah, because now we spent a night in there. We spent a night there. Okay, yeah, it's been about four days since we last see him. So, so he's here. He sent us to go. He's here for some reason, and he's been dead for almost four days. Yes. Wait a minute. We just get a letter from him? My gears are clicking. Yes. We just got money from him, didn't we? Yes. Literally today. That's you right. Don't, you don't think. Uh, there's somebody. I the think this place think. smells. You think somebody inside the Senate is uh, taking his place? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, but a uh, quick question for you, Raylo. Aren't you able to talk to the dead? I... Okay. I don't think I have that spell yet. Okay. Speak with dead? Yeah. Not... Uh, let me see. Because maybe we can get some information from oh. him. Um, Raylo kindly says... Um, Actually, sadly, I'm a little... I'm not as well-versed yet within my uh, clerical duties. And though I know of the spell, I know how to do it. I do not have this power to quite yet. I must... Uh, uh, DM, could I inspect the, the body? Yes, I can. Roll an investigation. Like just, to, just to see if there's anything on him. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Okay. So, did anybody mention that they had found a dead body down the hall? Uh, everyone can smell. Oh, oh, um, you are—you're not even with us anymore, are you? <laughs> yeah, I just—I just went to check out the other hall real quick. Oh, you're coming back. Well, I don't—I haven't heard anybody say anything. I don't think. All right. Uh, I'll look around, see that Amiori's not here, and be like, Amiori, yell down the hall. Come. <laughs> Twig's okay. eyes are just gonna pop out of the dark like, are you fucking kidding me? Did you just yell? Yes. Fuck off. Amiori's <laughs> gonna quickly come back down the hallway and be like, what is oh, going on? Guy. Fucking noisy ass cleric is gonna get us all killed. God damn it, god damn it, god damn it, I don't. I'm too old to die. I'm not two weeks from fucking retirement. He looks, <laughs> says... My small friend, um, you're making quite a bit of noise for somebody that doesn't want to make noise. Uh, excuse me, I am mumbling while still under a 28 stealth, so fuck you. Okay, you so just freaking let yourself go by saying something to me. No, I didn't say anything to you. I said my eyes pop out. Okay, upon yeah. shouting, all of a sudden you hear this loud roar. And I, so. I need everyone to make wisdom saving throws as a creature just drops from the ceiling. You motherfucker. 
Wisdom saving? Yeah. I'm fine with this. <laughs> hey. 17. Or 14. 20. And I would plus the body. 6. 18. Oh, is this uh, for so, fear? Drunk? I got a 4 and my dog got an 8. <laughs> Drunk. Are we rolling against fear? No, uh, it's an aura effect. Well, the only reason I ask is because I have advantage on saving throws against being frightened, so I figured I'd ask if it's a aura of fear or not. No, it's not. It's a mind erosion. Mind control? My brain's gonna get liquefied. I didn't want to be possessed again, damn it! Give me just a second. I'm sending oh, an image to the dice roller right now. Oy, oy, oy. <laughs> Who's taking the damage? Uh, I'll, I'll let you know what happens as soon as the image loads. This is what you see. I'm is sorry. that my cousin? <laughs> <laughs> Christ on a bike! <laughs> oh, he a big boy! Oh, he a big angry boy. <laughs> into the room. <laughs> Looks like it's singing to me. It's growling at you. Okay, so... Everyone who uh, failed the saving throw has disadvantage for one. Yeah, but who win. failed? Okay, uh, Amiori, uh, Star Child, what was the DC? Amiori Puppy, eighteen. What was the DC? Shoot. DC was eighteen, so Raylos is the only one that passed. Oh, Monk, I didn't hear a thing he said. <laughs> Raylos looks at this and be like, "Here." Fuck you. Uh, Monk, Fuck you and the dick you wrote said. on. You failed the the save. Okay. Monk just has to tell reaction. us what. <laughs> you uh, roll with it for one minute. You roll with disadvantage on all wisdom, charisma, or um, where is it? Charisma, In, wisdom, intelligence. Oh, just wisdom and charisma. Okay. And because Check, like it, wisdom and charisma is so going to be a I big think. thing here. And because it surprised you, Dono, it's going to take a claw swipe at you. Everyone else, get ready to roll for initiative. Bollocks. Hello. Oh, fuck me. No, thank you. Does a 14 hit your armor class, Dono? Hello. Does a 14 hit your armor class? Who? Uh, you keep cutting He's... out. He said no. Okay, then everyone roll for initiative. Roll for initiative? Okay. I'm going to freaking switch my thing over because I keep... I think your microphone has some issues with the connection. Not my microphone, it's my speaker. I, I, everybody else is like completely clear, but drunk. Why aren't you using a headset? Can everyone else hear me just fine? I can hear you fine. Yes. I can hear you now. Eh. You have your mom. There's just... Okay. Dono just okay. got clearer. Or is that just yeah. me? He got clear. Okay. Man. Yeah, I think your speaker was messing something up, Dono. Yeah, I just need Raylos's initiative. Okay, give me a second. So I got R. Also, apparently the bot we use for rolling, Avare, can also do initiative tracking. Mm -hmm. So there's a 18. function we haven't been using. 18 is my initiative. I'll mess around with it later. So Raylos, you're up first. Uh, directly on top of, sorry, let me get a turn and actually speak into my mic instead of at a screen. Um, so, Dono, <laughs> directly in front of you is this creature that you see up above that just took a cl uh, claw attack straight to your face that just seemed to glance off of you like you had this just like uh, greased up uh, deaf guy look to you. Well, fuck him. All right. Um... What so what what am I noticing about this damn thing? What 
Is it... Did it seem to come towards me because of sound? Uh, yes, it, it, it was uh, essentially asleep, and when you yelled, you woke it up and pissed it off. Okay, so it came to me because I made noise. Okay, um, I'm going to look at it, draw my scythe, the derrotos. Uh, scythe comes out, and I'm going to strike the bitch with uh, my scythe. So let me roll for that. Dude, oh, okay. Yeah. I do have ZT up. controls. I love the fact that we upped our level because that means now I hit harder. Or hit harder. <laughs> there you I go. In fa I, well, I, in fact, do have commands for the, the music bot, so we have music. Yeah! Okay. Does 12 hit it? Yes, 12 hit. Ah, sweet. Okay. It's going to take. All right, so, uh, like always, my freaking flame uh, blade comes out, or my flame um, strike hits with it. So I do a 1d10 plus 1d8 fire damage okay, plus Okay, okay, wait, wait a six. second. That, that does not hit. It does not? The 12 does doesn't? not. Ah. Sorry, it must have cut out again. Sorry. Well, I heard hit, and then I was. It sounded like it does hit, so I heard that. Nah. Okay. I, I gotta, I gotta yeah. stop looking. Then away I will cast. Mind. Then I will cast. Uh... Oh, shit. I need to see if that's actually. I wish I wasn't the first one to go, but okay. Because I need to look at my new spells. <laughs> Ray. Of Ray of Sickness. No. Oh. No. Oh. Okay. Black Beam. Concentration. Uh, I will bonus action cast Spiritual Weapon. And hit and put it right next to him. It will be that of a... Uh, crow's... That face with a scythe inside of its mouth, and it was in a uh, slash at him. So okay, okay. So it's gonna be D R D twenty plus six to hit. Nope, not gonna hit. Nope, him. does Fuck not. Me. God damn it! Okay, I can't hit him. We're shit. So, uh, that's my turn. Twig. Am, am I still stealthed? Or would I need to re-stealth? You're still stealthed. It, 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 Raylos made a bunch of noise which attracted it to him. Okay. Um, how close am I to this thing? How far did you enter the room? Did you go up and inspect Jeffrey, or you were still close to the door, weren't I, you? I would have still been next to the door, yeah. Okay, so you're. it's a 30-foot room. The tab uh, table was directly in the middle. That's where Donna was when he got done inspecting uh, Jeffrey, so I'd say you're about 15 feet. 15 feet? All righty. Uh... I'm trying to remember how the range system works for this, because it's advantage up close, normal, middle, and then none, or is it disadvantage if you're before the first number? I can never remember. Hold on. Sorry, I'm trying to uh, draw the room out real quick so I can place everybody. Oh, you're fine. I'm looking up the rules for ranged attacks because I can never remember. Uh, do, 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 do. Range. Weapon can be used to range what do attack. You need has... to know? I'm, I'm looking up the ranged rule. Uh, for... Has a range in parentheses after ammunition or thrown property. The range lists two numbers. The first is the weapon's you normal range in feet. Right Donna, I'm reading. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> normal range in feet, and the second indicates the weapon's long range. When attacking a target beyond normal range, you have disadvantage. Okay, so before the first number, normal, uh, between the two numbers, 
disadvantage after the second number. None. Uh, you should be at level five, Amiori. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm good. Um, okay, cool. Shop. Thanks. I did. Yeah. Shop. So you know, you should have advantage because I'm right next to it, and you're a rogue. Yeah. And no, I was. I was more there. looking to see if it if the advantage would hold, or if I'd be um, needing to fire at disadvantage. And so it's just being a straight roll. Yeah. Um, plus, I get my sneak attack either way, so. Uh, with my short bow, I'm going to whip that shit out, and I'm going to to fire with my advantage. It's a 22 to hit. That hits. All righty. Give me a second while I put all of the damage together. <laughs> Fucking rogues. Okay, so that's 1d6 for the short bow. And then 3d6 for the... Sneak attack, so 4d6 plus 3. 21 damage. And then I will bonus action hide with a... I guess it's going to be a 15 for stealth. Okay. And that'll that'll be my turn. I'll go ahead and give uh, just go ahead and give this to you now. He can still see you. Oh, it has fucking tremor sense, doesn't it? Or I Drunk, just didn't roll high be, enough. You didn't roll like, high enough for his press perception. Okay. Yeah. Drunk, you're supposed to be like, you feel very stealth, and then when he goes to do his shot, you go for a vein, and he stops it in the midway. You still do just damn, catches the fucking arrow been, and <laughs> stares at me. Next time, then. Next time, I'll do that. <laughs> but, yeah. is... Monk, Monk would be the fucker to make a monster take a couple levels in Monk just to be able to catch your fucking daggers. <laughs> I thought about that too. <laughs> I'm gonna make a note for that just because yes. <laughs> okay, uh, your turn's up. Uh, your turn's finished, uh, Twig. Yep, that's the end of my turn. Tommy Yori, your turn. Oh, goody. Okay, so how far is this thing into the room? I I would be probably just in the doorway because I had just come from hearing yells. Oh, yeah, you're super far away. I, I started coming back because I heard yells. Okay, so I say you, you made it halfway back down that 30-foot hallway when he yelled. So you have 30 feet plus 15 feet to get there. So, yeah, 45 feet. Okay, well, I have a speed of 40, so. Woo uh so you can see in the open door. I'm assuming they left it open. Yeah. We would leave okay. that shit open. Okay, so if I move my forty like my forty feet, he would be five feet away? No, he would be twenty feet away because you'd be five feet from the door. And he's fifteen okay. feet okay. in the room. Um Okay. Hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and have a javelin ready and I'm gonna throw it. Roll to hit. I'm coming for you. So that would be a 13. That does not hit. Well, shoot. Um, then at the um, after that, I'm going to go into a frenzy. And that will be the end of Amayori's turn. Um, the Hellhound, however, can go 50 feet. So that would put him within 10 feet. So, Raylos, are you in front of the Hellhound? Uh, I am in front of this monster. Like, I am face to face with this beast of a thing. Ugh. 
he would yes he would be in between your hellhound and the creature okay my hellhound's gonna pause there for now and that would be the end of my turn okay I would like Gano to make another saving throw what's going on with me as this monster just stares into your eyes, you feel this kind of tingling in the back of your mind, and I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. <clears throat> oh, D. 20. Plus 6. 21! I tell him to fuck off. <laughs> Woohoo! As this... <laughs> I, I would like you to, uh, like, imagine your character focusing and pushing this force out of its mind. What do you say to this creature as you force it back out of your mind? Get out my head. You're not my mom. <laughs> well, I, I was going to give you the opportunity to deal the psychic damage back to it, but you kind of just wussed out on it. So, uh, next You're person, not my Star dad. Child. You're not my dad! And kick him in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> That's my You're purse! Me. I don't That's know my you. purse! That's kind of what I was going for. But, sorry. <laughs> Let's keep going. Star okay. Child. Uh -oh. Sing for me, Star Child. Give me your strength. Goon uh -oh. Daddy, pay attention. It's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm still like in the hallway area. Yes. Just barely tiptoeing down from the stairs. Noah, did you just say area? I just yeah, didn't say area. 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 Um, yeah. I'm. Someone take that sound bite and make it a song. Just area. You just had uh, Amiori and her Hellhound just blow past you. I guess I'm gonna cautiously sneak up to the door. Okay, are you, are you wanting to sneak? I need a stealth roll for that. Sure. I have half advantage and plus six. Nine. <laughs> Nine. Yeah, you're you're perfectly hidden. Yeah, you're just clack <laughs> clack clack clack. My loud talons are clicking on the on the on the stone floor. But sure, you're hidden. I just I can't. When I peek through the door, what exactly am I looking at? You see directly. In front of the door is uh, Amiori. Um, ten feet ahead of her is her hellhound. Right in between her and the giant creature, you s that image from earlier, you have um, Raylos. Off just to the... Which way did you move, left or right, when you did your sneak attack, Twig? Shop. Um, I probably would have moved, uh, cause I would have been standing to the left side of the door, so I would have continued around the left side of the room a little bit. Okay. Trying to, to hide with the table between me and the thing. So, to the left of it is where Twig would be, and your turn was right up next to Jeffrey when it dropped as well. So she's right next to the creature. Okay. So I clearly see this thing is ugly and up to no good. Kind of causing trouble in your neighborhood. I see. And I got within... one little fight and Mama got scared. Is, is it within 30 feet of the door where I'm hiding behind? Well, as you stated, you were coming down the stairs when you uh, started your turn. You would have had to use 30 feet to get to the door. Is the creature within 30 feet of the door? Oh, yes. It's 15 feet ahead. Gotcha. Okay. Going to cast hideous laughter on the creature. Wisdom saving throw of 15. 
Ooh, ouch. That was a nat one. <laughs> I'm gonna yell at the thing. Hi! Hey, your mom was an ox, and your dad was a toad! <laughs> <laughs> And it now it's in and uh, he's had his lap. The creature of your choice, uh, within range, perceives everything as hideous, hilariously funny, and falls in a fit of laughter as the spell affects it. Uh, Does that mean that it gets knocked prone? It is. Uh, the, the target must succeed in a wisdom saving throw, or fall prone, becoming incapacitated and unable to stand up for the duration. A creature with an intelligence score of four or less is infected. At the end of each turn, uh, has to make a wisdom saving throw to shake off the spell. So it's on the floor laughing. <laughs> I get oh. advantage. This thing's dead. This thing's super dead. Yurton, you're up. Alrighty, uh, since I'm... Am I still near Jeffrey's body since I was going to uh, try to investigate it? Yeah, essentially, the way I uh, I envisioned it was it... Dono, or Raylos, was right next to Jeffrey's body from examining it, and it just dropped directly in front of him. So right next to Jeffrey's... Or, uh, yeah, right next to Jeffrey's Would body. Would you say that Jeffrey's body sustained bludgeoning damage from this thing teabagging it from the sky. I say it uh, it squished Jeffrey's body like a pancake. Darn it! All right. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. Don't worry. Like His you things see, are still you gonna see be on there. rotted organs just shoot and entrails just shoot across all corners of the room. Okay. Would it thank hit you, some thank of you. us? Here all week. <laughs> you ever accidentally step on a tube of toothpaste? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, uh... Anyways, you, were, I'm, you were walked over, Yurton. What did you ask? I was going to take my rapier and attack this bitch. Okay, roll with advantage. Okay. <laughs> I'm rolling. Hold on. Okay. Please don't fail me now. Teen, but I have advantage, you said. Huh. This music makes it stressful. Fourteen. I most likely probably don't that, hit it. That does not hit. I'm sorry, dear. Alrighty. Are you doing a range attack or a... Uh... Close. Up close because he was prone. Okay. Yeah. So I would most likely just use basically my uh, bonus action cutting action just kind of like to back off to give myself space from him. Okay. Anything else? That should do it for my turn. Raylos. I'm going to hit this bitch. With both my spiritual weapon and my normal weapon, and he gonna cry, all right? And I have that advantage one, on. That one, Do I get that one? That one. <laughs> I have advantage. The chances of getting double nat ones are so bad. Plus six. Boy, you must jinx yourself. Seventeen on the first one. Or, and this is just to see if I get a nat twenty. Plus six equals eight that's not so i did i hit with a 17 17 hits okay Woo! so that's my first one now to hit with a spiritual weapon and i'm just going to end up doing all the um stuff together so one, two, i appreciate eight. that thank you plus six does my spiritual weapon get advantage or is that not a thing drunk I've never been asked that before. Well, it's uh, a 16 for the spiritual weapon. I do not weapon. believe spiritual weapon gets advantage since it is not an independent entity. Okay. So then, it can't um, get flanking or anything like that. I will okay. take Shop well, Goblin's discretion and say no, and then have to tell you no, that does not hit. Okay, so 17 is his AC. All right. Very then good, I'm Dono. A Twenty plus. No, wait. It's a D ten plus a D eight plus my strength modifier, which I'm proficient with in my weapon and such. So this should be a lot. 
16 points of damage, two points of fire damage. Woo. And wait, I need to see if I add my spellcasting modifier with that um, on that. Okay, how many? Green how much flame. of that was magical damage? Uh, two points. Okay. And technically, my weapon is magical because I have to say a magical word if that's what you're wondering. Uh, no, I'm just uh, for the purposes of damage reduction. Okay. And I'm looking up my green flame blade. Plus your spellcasting monitor. Okay, so add another six to that. Uh, because I get to add my spellcasting modifier to my flame. So he actually took 22 points of damage. So eight points of slashing, eight points of magical damage. Or no, eight plus six, uh, 14 points of slashing, eight points of magical damage. That's the end of my turn. <laughs> Damn it, Dono, I had to erase and rewrite the number three different times. I'm sorry. <laughs> Twig, you're up. Um, can I move so that I'm flanking this thing? From, uh... From Relos? It's technically prone, so you don't even have to flank, but... Yeah. <laughs> well, that... Yes, you could easily reach a spot to flank it. Okay. Uh, but it's it's prone. Yeah. Yes. Uh, oh, that fucking can... sucks. Ranged attacks are at disadvantage against prone targets. Yep. But so you, because I'm right next to it, you would have advantage. Which means I'd have a straight uh, roll. Yep. Um. Hmm. So it's up to you what you want to do. Yeah, I'll just. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't understand the mechanics of that because if if I walk up to someone with a pistol and. But that's if you're working SOP. at point blank. That's the thing is that's at point blank, which you already have disadvantage at point blank. Anyways, don't ask me why. It doesn't make sense to me either. But uh, at a distance, no prone makes more sense. Somebody, it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, but but at a distance prone giving uh, disadvantage on ranged attacks makes sense because it's a smaller target. Yes, but... That, they're... It's a discussion to have on the long yeah. rest at some okay. point. Yeah, we'll yep. have to have um, yep. that question. Yep. <laughs> okay, so I will take a straight roll then with my short bow. 17 to hit. That hits. Uh, and then that's going to have... My sneak attack again, so 4d6 plus 3, 13 damage. Nice. And then I will once again try and hide from it. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is with my stealth rolls all being 15s? What are Wait, the odds I see you over there. <laughs> That's what the third time! Uh okay, so... Raylos, like, watches him go to, like, hide, and he sees his little butt sticking out from behind a rock, and he's just like... Amigo, no, I'm just trying to hide you. behind the table. <laughs> so, yeah, that's... You are up. Yeah. That, that okay. Four fifteens in a row for your stealth rolls. That means that it would be a high chance to get four that one. And I probably jinx me. You know what? Heck it. Get it. Okay. Get it. Get it. Get I'm going to have my Hellhound go first. And I would like to move him um, kind of to, like, right next to Raylos. So he doesn't, so he doesn't hit Raylos. Okay. You want to put him in an area where... I'm guessing you're going to do with your breath attack, right? Yep. Okay. And you don't want me in that cone. Got it. Accurate. Uh, Goon, with him being prone and affected to that, does he automatically 
He um, failed death or deck saves. Um, whatever prone means is what it. Well, prone would mean that he's yeah. just on the ground. I so think. it needs to make a deck save. The creature does. Let me see. If you're prone, do you have disadvantage on deck saves? And I'm able to stand up for the region. Let me check my uh, DM screen. Because I think there's some other stuff that comes with being prone. Man, prone. Prone creature only moves. Option not is to crawl unless it stands up, thereby ends its condition. The creature has disadvantage. On attack rolls, on attack rolls against the creature has advantage if the cre- if the attack is within five feet of the creature. Otherwise, the attack roll is at disadvantage. It does not say anything about disadvantage on it. Deck save. Okay. Then, drop. Just roll it straight. <laughs> that was dex, correct? Yeah. Uh, I don't, don't, do not believe a five succeeds. Nope. Absolutely not. So, roll your damage. Oh, him. So, that would be Damn. 20 fire damage from a fire breath. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. It's getting kind of hot in here, don't you think? <laughs> woo! Ray Liz goes like, woo, that's a hot puppet. Okay. Okay, and then Amiyori is going to um, come in, and where did her javelin end up falling that she didn't hit him with? Behind him. Okay. Um, so <laughs> she's going to have um, her trident. So she'll pull her trident out. I just saw the uh, gift that shop dropped. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. And she's going to attack with... She's going to attack with her trident this time. Sorry, I have to... I don't push. No comment. That would be a nine. I don't. I don't think that's gonna hit. Where did you position yourself? Did um, you roll with advantage? Oh no, I didn't. She would position herself kind of um, right behind the hellhound. Okay, I've got you. Dirty 20! Yeah! Dirty 20! Woo 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 woo! Dirty 20! Yeah! Get that bitch! Get it, get it. Get it, get it. Uh, uh. (laughs) (coughs) That would be seven damage. And, uh,. Um, I'm going to use as a bonus action my frenzy attack, and I can do a, another um, attack with my trident. I tell you guys, it's real trippy hearing her uh, talk, and then a few seconds later hearing it over Discord. <laughs> <laughs> does a 16 hit? No, it does not. Okay, so I still need to keep rolling with advantage then, yeah? Oh, yeah, you're rolling with advantage anyway. It, it, you always roll with advantage because what if the next one's a nat 20? <laughs> well, nope. they were both 16, so I think she missed the second one. It's drawn. That's the end of my turn. 
What's the DC for that uh, spell, Star Child? Never uh, mind. Uh, uh, that twenty wins. Oh, pfft. it's on a success. Okay, so this creature just uh, who has been writhing on the ground, cackling as it's being bludgeoned, all of a sudden starts stops cackling, roars as it stands up. And I will need everyone this time to make the wisdom saving throw. All right. Wisdom? Yes, Preach. Oh, uh, that's a 13. You're Not good. bad for everybody. Nine. Oof. Never mind. <laughs> um, Yori got a 19, and her pup got a 14. 17 I for your turn. I this time. Your turn. Anyone who has your number or below her, which would be a 17 or lower, has failed. What? Oh, damn. Hey, I finally passed a saving throw with no modifier. Hey. Um, Yori made it. This is a hard creature. I think Drunk's trying to kill us. Nah. How much damage do we take, Drunk? Should I be using the boss sound instead of I bite? Because this is not our boss fight music. No, this is just a, a, a lowly little demon for you. Lowly. Uh, you all this take is a demon. Six, you all take six points psychic damage as this thing right. uh, kind of gets into your head and you just see flashes of yourself being tortured. The people that succeeded, do we take half damage or no damage? You take no damage. And Yay! Then that's going to make it yeah, because that's, uh, within this whole fight, that is the first bit of damage that uh, Raylus has taken. Because that was the first time that he failed. Okay, and it is taking a bite at you, Dono. Does a okay. 17 hit your armor class? Yes, it does. Okay. Six plus six. You take 12 points of piercing damage. Okay. 12 points? Yes. I am going to see if I can do this little shit on him. And that will be the end of his turn. Okay. Who's next? Oh, sorry. Um, Star <laughs> Child. <laughs> Star Child you're up. Wow. Um, shook off my laughter pretty easily. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, Um, I'm going to remain, like, in the doorway, partially hidden, and cast Deafness and Blindness. Deafness slash Blindness. Needs to make a constitution of 15. That, with its negative modifier, uh, is a zero. You can blind or blind or deafen a foe. Since it has no eyes, I'm going to deafen it. <laughs> uh, choosing one creature within range. It fails. The target is either blind or deafened. Deafened. For the duration at the end of each of its turns, the target can make one constitution saving throw on success. The spell ends. So it is deaf until further notice. It does have eyes. The picture has no eyes. They, yeah, they're green and they light up. Oh, I did not see you that. You would know it, Rakdos. Hey, now. Well, it's deaf. You're I already an all-star. Spoke. Don't be hating it on the demon. Not. Okay, You're t uh, are you done, uh, Goon? That, uh, well, uh, I give Bardic Inspiration to Raylos. Ooh. 
We, Maybe he'll actually hit it this sing, time. Sing your inspiration. I hit it. Listen. All right, Harumba Bumble. I just did more damage than anybody has done on this entire turn. My last turn. Okay, with one fucking slash. Fuck off. <laughs> 34 total damage in two turns. Talk to me when you can do that. <laughs> I give I, I, did... I give out a little whistle uh, in, a, in a hymn that Raylos would know. And that's how I give inspiration. Nice. Aroma Bumble, so you know I did 22 damage in one turn. <laughs> okay, guys, put the measuring It'll tapes away. 44 and, let your and 2, you dick. <laughs> okay, sorry. Sorry, DM. You're thin. I'm going to try to go again with my uh, great DM. Can you guys okay, hear me? Okay. Yes, I okay. can hear you. We're just waiting in anticipation. I was trying to come up with a funny voice game. <laughs> and that doesn't fucking hit. <laughs> Did you do it with advantage? Oh, no. I didn't know we had advantage. Yeah, because you're um, prone on the ground. Oh. I'm not prone anymore. Wait. You're flanking. Oh, okay. Yeah. So no we're advantage? Well, you it's have not prone advantage. Anymore. Oh, I you're, still we're wait. We're flanking him. Oh, okay. Yeah, so roll with advantage. Okay. Let's try and that did again. You... Yeah, you upped your stuff. Oh! Woo! That'll Very cool. nice. Uh, hi there. Hi. That, that feels nice. Yeah. Just Don't forget your sneak point. attack. Yeah. 3d6 extra. Wait, what? Get your sneak attack in there. Yeah, 3d6 sneak attack damage because of the advantage. Anytime you have an advantage attacking an enemy. Or okay. a ally is close by, you get sneak attack. Yep. Because, yep. You can also see, don't you? Choo, okay. Choo, choo. So that was five. So 11 points. Nicely done. Okay. So, ropes don't. I was checking something real quick. Well, right. we're now under 100. Oh, God. Well, actually... Me and Raylos we, better start dealing a lot more damage. <laughs> we're going to be doing about 50 to... Well, if my spiritual weapon would hit, I'd probably do about 40 damage in one turn. Just remember, Raylos, guys, we can up. run! Yeah. We can wipe it out in this two turns, Dono. I know. Yes, we can run, run when all it's done is six damage to some of us. Fucking, let's, let's kick this thing's ass. All right. Rolling with advantage. I'm just going to do 2d20s. And then add my six modifier to each one of them. So R dash. Neither of Fuck those Fuck me. Hit. Neither one of those hit. Because a five plus six is only 11. So, oh, wait, 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 wait. That's 11. Uh, what's my, uh, what do I get to roll for? Um, a D6. A D6? And for the inspiration die? Roll. And it's an 18 so you, to hit it? 17 to hit it, so you have to roll a 6. Alright, I'll use it. Shh, fuck it. Actually, I won't use Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to instead use my uh, action surge and roll again. Wait, are you a cleric and a fighter? Yep. 13 plus 6. That's 19. I have That'll two levels hit. in fighter, my dude. Nice! Mm hmm. And that definitely hits. Yep. So that's a that's R. Okay, and then I'm gonna roll for my spiritual weapon as well. So plus six. Twenty-five to hit with my spiritual weapon. So both hit. Let me roll all this fucking damage out for you, drunk. Okay. So make sure it is to going pull to be, off. Make sure to pull off uh, magic damage for me. Pull off magic damage. Yeah, separate it from the rest of it. Okay, so then this is my physical damage right now. So D10 plus 6. That's 16. Oh, damn. That was a critical. That was a hit. That was, uh, so that's my magical damage. 16 points. Okay, so this is going to be all my magical damage right here. Drunk. D8. No, it's going to be 2 D. Eight plus 12. 
24 points of damage. I just did... 30... No, wait. So that's You 30, just did 20 I just did points 40, of damage. I just did 40 points of damage. <laughs> in one turn. <laughs> uh, Rumble Bumble, each fucking heart out. <laughs> As you guys see, now Raylos just slash with his weapon, and now from the, you see a green flame burst from the the scythe. As also the spiritual weapon slams it into the back, ra not dealing radiant damage, as well. Who's as primarily a? F it's me, and as primarily somebody that plays a fighter, no doubt you're doing more damage. <laughs> Uh, and I am going to pull one of my daggers and my rapier and close to melee with it. Uh, so this will be the rapier strike, which will have advantage, correct? Because mm -hmm. of flanking. Uh, so that's a 19. That should hit. But let's see. That's a 21, so that'll also hit. I was just seeing if I crit. Uh, okay. So that one is d8. Plus 3d6 for the sneak attack. Plus 3. 26 damage from the rapier. And then I'm going to hit it with my dagger. I'm using my bonus action and my two weapon fighting. So that's another 19 to hit. Very nice. She'll be a d4 plus 3. That's another seven damage. So 33 oh. damage total. I think I won this round. <laughs> like I said, you're playing as a fighting, even a partial fighter means you're going to deal more damage no matter what. Yep. <laughs> Hold on a second. Hold on a second. No, you did not win this round. He did. Why? No, he was talking about between the two of us doing more damage. Yeah, yep. you did more damage to the creature than he did. Yeah, but that's only after you have to subtract the... What, magical. 24 magical, or is it the 16 is magical? No, the 16 is... It was 24 magical. Yeah. Oh, so he's not affected by magical damage? You hadn't figured that out that? yet? <laughs> well... <laughs> he's been saying, fucking... put it separate Explain so I can that. kick it out. Oh. Well, fuck me. <laughs> Never mind. Fuck you, Drunk. <laughs> no, 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 fuck the demon. Drunk's just playing by the rules. I know. That's why I haven't been using any of my magic, is because I <laughs> yeah. inferred that. All right. <laughs> but yeah, so that's uh, that's my total drunk. And that's my turn. <laughs> Fucking tell me that now. <laughs> Fuck off, I'm okay? I'm you're, you're up. <sighs> Dono, you have know, we told you how much we love you recently? We, lo <laughs> we love you, Dono. <laughs> drunk. Just watch your ass next week. <laughs> oh damn! I, I don't I, I don't have any of my gear yet either. So, Dracus is gonna have to watch out for bananas. <laughs> Not even funny. <laughs> oh no! I want like every single time drunk like freaking Dracus sees a banana, just to be like, <gasps> <gasps> freak out. <laughs> oh. PTSD, one hundred percent. Okay, okay, sorry. Monk, I, hey, Monk, I feel like you're lacking in potassium. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's on Mayori's turn. Yeah. Okay, um, so her hellhound is going to... Her hellhound's going to bite... Bite it. Get it. Get it, get it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him, Anakin. What? Do it. <laughs> the 18. Eight, An 18. Nice. Nicely done. That would be 10 physical damage, and he, since he doesn't take magic, I'm not even going to bother doing that. Fire damage. Uh, 
And then Amiori is going to use her trident again. That would be a 19 plus 6. Woo! Oh yeah, because yeah, you're a barbarian. You have two attacks now. What a boss. Barbarians, everybody. They're no joke. <laughs> oh, that's your brute banner. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so her first attack does 11 damage. Nice. I thought your first attack did 10. What are we... Okay. I'm just gonna shut up now. <laughs> it was her puppy. She used her puppy for... Oh, her puppy did. Yeah. Okay. And then the other... The last attack does not hit. Okay. So I'm done. When you feel your trident pierce into this demon, uh, go ahead and kill the music, please. You feel this kind of chill over you. And as this demon dies, you hear in your head, Rakdos won't be pleased with you. Can I just say that was perfectly timed for the end of the song? Oh, it yeah. Was. That gave me fucking chills. Uh, Is that where we're going to end it? Drunk? No. Go ahead. Is that, Is that where you want to end it? it? Uh, where are we at? We yes. just five killed o'clock. it! So yes. that'd be about a half That's... hour early. Uh, now this is where we've been ending it so we can get ready for our d d session here. Uh, Works for me. So as you all heard that inside your head, the demon's body just begins to burn in that same black ash or black fire that you saw the um agent in the burning tree prison disappear and that's where we'll end it for today I, <coughs> all right i'll go ahead and give your turn one thing before she leaves so the rest of you whenever you guys bounce out i'll talk to her okay i gotta go so i'll talk to you guys later let's see, say our outros real quick uh go go ahead uh Raylos, you'll start us off Okay, I I am um, Donna the Cleric. I have been playing Raylos. You can find me on TikTok under Donna the Cleric. No, freaking everything else like that under the same name. Okay, bye. Amiori, you're up. Go. I'm Kyoko the Fox playing Amiori. Yurton, go. I am Kawaii RMS, and I have played Yurton. You can find me on Kawaii RMS or DM Junkies on Wednesdays. Star Child, go. I'm um, Noah Allen, a.k.a. Goondelly, playing Gareth, a.k.a. Star Child. You can find me on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitch. Twig, go! I'm Shop Goblin, playing Twig Rumble Bumble, and you can find me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook under Shop Goblin or Shop Goblin underscore. Drunk, go! <laughs> Thank you, yes! <laughs> okay, I am the Drunken Monk playing your Drunken DM. You can find me on Twitter and just about everywhere else under the Drunken Monk or the Drunken Monk 91. Um, thank you. I'll go ahead and do Dono's outro since he had to bounce out. Uh, thank you for watching, and until next time, roll for initiative.